Guys, today we're going to learn how to calibrate your Apex pH probe. Hey guys, Devin with Reef Dudes, and today we're going to talk about calibrating your pH probe. Now, there's kind of two schools of thought. Some people think, why bother monitoring pH? And there's other people that love to do it. So, But if you are going to take the time to monitor pH, you want to make sure you're doing it accurately, otherwise what's the point? Now, most pH probes, it's kind of recommended to calibrate them every three to four months. Uh, mine's probably been four or five months, so today we're going to get that baby calibrated and make sure it's actually giving us a proper, accurate reading. To start, you'll need to take your calibration solution and float it in your tank water to equalize it to about 25 degrees. So I'm going to take those two packets and let them sit in my overflow for about 20 minutes. Um, while they're soaking, they're, if you're doing a pH probe just in your tank, you'll want to use a pH 7 and a pH 10 solution. If you're calibrating a calcium reactor, you'll want to use a pH 4 and a pH 7. So you're basically calibrating it to the range that you know you're testing for, which will give you more accurate results. So now my packets have done soaking, I'm going to remove my pH probe from this holder, which is kind of hiding in the back here. And I'm just very lightly wiping off the probe, just because I want to make sure that there's no tank water getting into the system, or into my calibration sol solution, as it may throw it off slightly. Okay, so we've got our probe out, we're going to start with a pH 7 solution. So we cut the bag open, we put our probe, I always put out a bit of a corner, and that will let it soak, make sure it's fully submerged in the solution. Start calibration. So on your Apex controller screen, you're going to hit the center button. We're going to go to setup. Then we go to pH setup. pH calibrate. Our low solution, since we're doing the tank probe, we're going to pick pH of 7. And that's where our calibration solution is. Now you're seeing settling. So this number will jump around a little bit. And what you want to do is wait until it stays at the same number for about 20 or 30 seconds. Now since I already put the probe in there, it should already be settling. So 732, that should be about right. So it hasn't moved in about 10 or 15 seconds. So I'm going to say OK. So next is asking for the highest solution. So we'll take our probe out of the pH 7 and put it into the pH 10 solution. So we've got our 10 open, just give the probe a bit of a shake, try and get all the pH 7 solution off. Then we're going to do the same thing. Put the probe into the pH 10 solution, and we're going to let it sit and soak for a minute. Back on our Apex screen, so it's saying our high solution, so pH 10, we click OK. And now same thing, we're just going to wait and leave it for a minute, and just wait till that number settles down. So 1082, 1083. All right, so it looks pretty stable. So I'm going to hit OK. And now our solution is calibrated. Our, now our pH probe is calibrated. So if I go back to the home screen, it should read pH of 10. So we know we're right on the money. Now, if you guys have an Apex 2016, this process is even easier. Um, go to Apex Fusion, click on the gear, and go to your inputs. We're going to scroll down the list and select the one that says pH. If you'll see on the right, little check mark on the right-hand side. So we know that's the right one. So click on that. And at the bottom, you'll see automatic calibration. So it says, what solution are we using? So for this is for the tank, we're going to use the pH 7. So we're going to put our probe into the pH 7 solution. Next, we click Next. And we're just going to wait for a minute. At the top, you see acceptable range. And reading has settled. So when it's still working, figuring it out, there are going to be those little red triangles. And once it decides, okay, it's at pH of 7 with what I expect, you're going to get that little check mark. So we just saw that the reading has settled, so that checked. Um, and so it's happy, the number quit jumping around. Now it's just waiting for it to be the correct pH. All right, so it's where Apex expects it to be. So it's happy, now it has to go back to settling. And in a few seconds, we'll hopefully figure it out and we can go proceed to the next step. All right, so reading settled. Next, we have to insert our probe into the pH 10 solution. So give it a little shake, put it in a pH 10 solution, and click Next. And same thing, we just have to wait for it to decide it's happy with the pH reading and that the reading is settled. So if you guys have an Apex, class, or Apex 2016, they really did make this a quick, easy process. Um, it takes most of the guesswork and thinking out of it, and you basically hit Next and wait for it to do its thing. So we're just waiting for the pH range to settle. All right, pH is happy. Now we're waiting for the number to settle. And done. 
So as you guys can tell, it's a pretty quick and easy process to calibrate that pH probe. And if you're going to be monitoring pH, you might as well make sure you're monitoring accurately. If there's anything that you guys want to know, head over to reefdudes.com slash ask, fill out the form, and let me know. And I'll be sure to make a video on it. Otherwise, guys, if you enjoyed this, hit that like button and make sure you guys subscribe to keep up to date for more great content.